Hello there, I'm B3M, but you call me Ben. And as you may know, New York Comic Con was a bit of a mess. I did not manage to get any of the Funko Pops that were available on the Funko Shop, but I did manage to get them from the shared retailers. With the only exception being that they would arrive in like December or even later on, it was gonna be a long time. So I promptly canceled those pre-orders and ordered from other websites. These specific pops here are from epiccollectibles.com. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Just gotta say that I really do like their service and that they do have the pops that I wanted. So I ordered most of the pops I wanted from New York Comic Con from Epic Collectibles with one specific pop coming from Pops Outlet. Not gonna reveal that yet, mostly because it hasn't arrived, but in an upcoming video I will review that pop, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see that. Anyways, let's get on with the rest of the video and open up my New York Comic Con haul. Alright, so I gotta admit, I didn't cancel the pre-orders until just a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was last week, I don't know. So this first pop was the first one I ordered, with the other ones coming in later, so that's why they're in separate packaging. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know I'm a pretty big fan of Disney, and specifically Lilo and Stitch. So, of course, when I saw that this pop was getting announced, I had to get it. Eat the box. Open it up. First pop of my haul. We got Stitch and Rollers, and it came in a hard sack. Not bad. Here's a look at the box itself. I really, really do like this guy. Oh, this is cool. There's actually the info for Funko.com. Cool. I really, really do like this guy. I love that he's actually got the drawing there of the good and bad. Man, this looks way better in person than I thought it would. I don't have too, too many Stitch Pops. I only got two of them. This one, the one with Stitch with a frog on his head. And then actually, I got one just behind my computer here. Hold on, give me a second. Don't want to knock over Spider-Man 2099. I actually do got Stitch as a baker from the other New York Comic Con. Now it's not the con exclusive sticker. I don't really care about that because I'm not going to be selling these pops. So I'm not looking for value. But still pretty cool that I got these pops. I like Stitch. That's a cool one. I like him. But what I'm really excited for is some of the pops that's in this package. Now this package has three Funko Pops. All right, we got some very nice packaging here. Let's see. I'm gonna let each one be its own little mini announcement. First pop, let's see what you think it is. Let me know in the comments. I know I'm saying that's too much, but whatever. Oh, oh, they're all wrapped up together. Well, there goes that plan, okay. Oh, oh no. Uh, you might have already seen it. I don't know. Oh well, doesn't matter. Eat the packaging. First up, we got Moe's. All oh, my. Then Boba Fett. All right, let's let's see Moe's first. Here we go, Moe's true. Now I really do like that they actually made this pop because they've been made so many office pops. But they had just been, you know, other versions of Michael or Dwight or even another version of Pam. They're not many, you know, that many new characters. I do like that they got a new Aaron coming out. I'm really glad that Moe's got his own pop because not only is he a cool character, but he's also played by someone who's extremely important to the making of the show. I'm blanking on his name, I'm sorry, but he's extremely important to the office in his creation. And so I'm really happy that they actually do have this guy. Pretty cool pop. I'm gonna put him next to my Dwight as we're Cyclops here. He's right under my Stitch as Baker and it's also from New York Comic Con. So we got both of these guys right here. Pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna keep these two in box. However, I don't feel bad if I open up these two guys because I really do want to show you guys what they look like. And right off the bat, look at how big all my head is. I was not expecting it to be that big. I wonder if it'll actually fit in my display case because this is huge. I was not expecting this at all. All right, let's open it up, get him out of the hard sack and all of that. All right, we got all my here. Let me get his little stand here. That's interesting. So they included a stand in the package, but 
he is perfectly capable of standing on his own. All right, whatever. Makes it look a little bit nicer, I guess, even though he can totally stand on his own. We got All my here. Now this is a really cool Funko Pop. I was not expecting it to turn out so well, actually. I do really like some of the little details on this. Like the hair is absolutely crazy. And this is my first like Weekend State All Might. I got Silver Age All Might. I got the regular All Might Common. And so this is my first one where he's actually in his Weekend State. I really do like this scene in the show where, you know, I think it's from a filler episode actually, where he's just getting food for Deku and Deku's being interviewed by that reporter guy with the camera hands. Man, this is a really cool Funko Pop. I kind of regret putting this so low in my tier list of the My Hero Academia Pops because in person, this looks way better than I thought it would. All right, that is pretty awesome. Whatever tier it's on my tier list, move it up one because that is a cool Funko Pop. Next up, we're gonna open Boba Fett himself. Now, this is also a really cool pop. It does look a bit strange, because you know, when you see it, you don't immediately think Boba Fett. However, if you've seen The Mandalorian, you'll know that this is when he's on Tatooine and that awesome episode when he comes back to retrieve his armor. That was such a cool episode. And so let's open this Funko Pop up. All right, here we got Boba Fett. It's not the most interesting looking Funko Pop out of all of them. However, I really do like the details on his outfit. Look at that on the back right there. And then if you see his actual clothes himself, it's a little, I'm not calling it a dress, but you know, it's got, you know, the trench coat like look to it, the cloak. I think that this is a really well-designed Funko Pop. I love the details on it. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with my little New York Comic Con haul here. Now they don't have the actual convention stickers. They are shared retailers. But still, this wasn't really a convention with Pops figures that are going to go really high in value, so I'm pretty happy with the Fungo Pops themselves. However, I do have one more New York Comic Con Pop that is scheduled to arrive within the next couple days, so I'll be making a whole separate video on that. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and with that, have a beautiful day, have a great day, and goodbye now.